if you dream of shooting high resolution super slow motion videos but you don't have access to expensive and heavy camera gear i'm here to make that dream a reality for you without any costly equipment hey there welcome to today's tutorial on how to make fake slow motion videos in premiere pro as you may have noticed we have a green screen video clip on the timeline before we can create our epic slow motion masterpiece, we need to remove the green screen from this video, which is an important and sensitive task. By the way, if you wanna watch this video that is related to this tutorial, the link will be provided in the description of this video. First, we need to isolate the part of the green screen that we wanna remove and exclude unwanted elements. Let's find the frame where the lock covered the most of the green screen. And then head over to the effect controls. Take the pen tool under opacity and create a mask as close as possible around the subject to remove the unwanted elements from the green screen. If you notice that the cap color doesn't match with the green screen, you need to animate the masking to perfect the footage. To make this process easier, change the zoom level of the program monitor to 100. Readjust the monitor and navigate to the max on to create a keyframe for the max path. Make sure that max on is selected. Then return to the program monitor. Finally, change the masking points as needed. Keep in mind that masking can be a bit time consuming and remember that when you make any changes like moving the masking points, Premiere Pro will automatically create new keyframes for the frame where changes were made. Now that our masking is complete, let's check the entire clip to make sure that there is no issues. If you do find any issues, simply fix them. It's now time to apply the Alta key effect to make the green skin transparent. To do this, go to the effects tab and search for the Alta key effect. Once you find the desired effect, apply to the green skin footage on the timeline. In the effect control spanner, you see the Alta key effects with a lot of settings to remove the green screen. However, in our case, only a few of these settings are necessary to accurately remove the green screen. Now take the eyedropper tool or color picker tool to select the green color of the source image. If you need to increase the size of the picker, hold down the control key. This will allow you to select an average of the color in a 5x5 pixel area. Once you have the picker set, choose a color that is close to the subject. Change the output view to alpha to see the details of your subject when adjusting parameters. This separates the color into a black and white channel, making it easy to identify any issues with your key. With this view, everything that appears white is your subject and everything black is removed. Matte Generation offers 5 controls that can help refine transparent areas. Adjusting the transparent slider to control the transparency of your source image. 100 is fully transparent and 0 is full opacity. If there are black spots in white background around your subject, lower the transparency value to refine the edges and enhance details or increase it to soften edges. This will ensure that your subject is white is fully opaque, including small details like here. For this image, I return the transparency to its default value of 45, which is good enough. The highlight controls the opposite of the brighter areas in your source image. By reducing this value, you can improve the appearance of the background. Next, the shadow parameter, which is used to adjust the opposite of the darker area in the source image. Reducing this value can help to remove any unwanted noise present in the background. The tolerance settings adjust the range of the colors that are selected. And this has already been achieved by selecting a large area of color using the color picker tool. The pedestal is the final parameter and it can be a game changer when it comes to removing green skin from your image. By increasing its value, you can easily get rid of the green skin from your video clip and the background will appear black in the alpha view. The rest of the settings are not mandatory at least for this footage. Matte generation works very well for removing green skin. For color correction, we have a greater option which is Lumetic color. Now change output view from alpha to composite and if I move the time indicator on the timeline, you may notice a dark spot on the subject which basically means it is transparent. So we need to make some changes to fix this issue. Let's go to the shadows and increase its value slightly to remove the transparent area from the lock. With these settings, the problem should be resolved. This time go to the project and drag an image from the project onto the timeline and place it underneath the first video clip. We wanna use it as a background. Now make sure the underneath layer is selected and then head over to the effect controls. Now adjust the scale of the image as we need to create an animation on it. Go to the end of the layer and set a keyframe for the position to allow us to animate it. Decrease the Y value of the position to move the image up since the Y value controls the vertical position of an object. Once that is done, move the time indicator to the beginning and this time increase the Y value of the position to drag the image down. Our primary animation is done, so let's preview it. 
it doesn't seem like the lock is falling down so we need to make some changes start by selecting the upper layer and going to the effect controls adjust the rotation value to get the perfect rotation of the subject then set a keyframe at the end of the position next increase the y value of the position to make the subject appear to be falling down finally go to the first frame of the layer and decrease the y value of the position with these settings it will look like the lock is falling down from the top to make it more realistic we should defocus the background go to the effects and look for the camera blur effect apply this effect to the background video layer the default value of 25 is too aggressive for this video so let's change it to 6 with this adjustment it will look more realistic now it seems like this super slow motion video was recorded using the expensive camera gear i hope you enjoyed this funny fake slow motion video it's a great idea for creating product commercials without investing a lot of money thank you for watching today's premiere pro tutorial i'll be back in the next video